This is Lawrence Goff at Newark Cemetery to remember the Ramson and Mars bombing of 1941 on the 7th of March, 70 years next year. Let's look at a few of the graves here. We've got Arthur Worrell, killed by enemy action on the 7th of March, 1941, age 31. Alfred Evelyn Andrews, 7th of March 1941, age 39. Thomas Mahallan Hardy, age 26. Gladys Cummings, just 21 years of age. Edwin Martin, age 46. George Hardy Henry Adams, age 45. Let's go over and see who is on this raid here. Ramson and Mars provided components to all three armed forces during the Second World War. Ten bombs were dropped on the factory and five exploded. This attack caused the biggest loss of life in Newark during the Second World War. Let's not forget the brave people that worked at Ramson and Mars for the war effort. Here's another one over here. John Henry Green has a lovely memorial here. In everlasting memory of John Henry, beloved husband of Edwith Alice Green, Killed by enemy action, 7th of March 1941, age 55. Until we meet again, always of the above, Edith Alice Green, who also died and is buried next to her husband. We've got uh, a number of people all scattered around the cemetery. We've got three further down here and uh, I just thought I'd just come over here and, and show you them. We've got the big anniversary next year and we need to remember these people who helped us during the Second World War during in the Berens factory at Brampton and Mars which now has changed to NSK. Here's a grave here another person who died here Reginald Senior who died on the 7th of March 1941 and not too far is two more graves we've got this one over here Ina May Cotton, who died. Also, William Packwood also died. So, we're not very far. It's just in interesting that we remember this anniversary. So, there are a number of family members still around in the Newark area. We have 28 that are buried in Newark Cemetery and I have located 19. 11 have got no graves whatsoever which is disheartened for families trying to find their loved ones. We've got a stone over here from the Sh Sherrod Forester and I just want to make sure that we see that one over here. Sherrod Forrester Private E.P. Beal, Sherrod Forrester age 27. In the midst of life we are in death. And there was a few other ones scattered around the cemetery. I'm just going to go and show you some more which are also located around the area. It's the 
Polish war graves. We're going to go down and see Chris Grant, who was a former mayor's son, who was just five years old when his father was killed. We're going down the main drive of Newark Cemetery. This cemetery was opened in 1856. We've got over 36,000 people that are buried in the cemetery. And just uh, so it's important that we remember the people here. Here we go. Here we go. Chris Grant's father, who died at age 47, Robert. Barnsdale Grant, age 47, and his beloved wife. So it's just important that we remember these people. And there's his wife on the other side, who died in 1984. This is Lawrence Goff at Newark Cemetery, remembering some of the people that are buried in the cemetery since the First Second World War. We will never forget them, as next year will be our anniversary, the 70th anniversary of the Rumson and Mars bombing. Let's remember them in our prayers. This is Lawrence Goff, until we meet again, thank you for listening.